Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Look what we got in today at Art of the Image. We have the T6i, Canon EOS Rebel T6i. So we're going to do an unboxing for you. Let's get her open and we'll show you what's inside the box. So, opening up the box, we have warranty cards. This is a USA Canada model, so uh, sold for sale in basically North America, USA, Canada. Um, we've got the uh, Canon digital software disc. They're still calling that, uh, it doesn't say on here, I forget what they used to call that. Something, I forget what the Canon software was called, I'll have to look that up. Anyways, um, French and English manuals, because here in Canada you need that. So as I said, this is for sale in both US and Canada. We've got the charger here. And we've got the battery, which I did pull these out ahead of time and charged them up so we can get right to it. USB micro HDMI cable. We've got a camera strap, Canon camera strap. We've got the uh, kit lens. And this kit is the um, 18 to 55. I think you can also get it with the 18 to 135. So we got the 18 to 55 here. Now, um, I think the 18 to 135, it might be an STM lens. I'm going to have to double check that for you. Um, this one is not, but um, pretty good value because I think you only pay about not even 100 bucks more or something to get the 18 to 55 with the kit. So here is the grand piece of the kit. The T6i itself comes nicely bubble wrapped. Um, lots of corrugate cardboard packaging in here, safely packaged. You don't have to worry about your camera arriving smashed. T6i right there. Let's put um, this stuff back in here so we can get to the stuff we just mostly want to talk about today. So we'll put that manual and things like that. We should consult the manual, should always read the manual, but we will. So here is the T6i, the Canon EOS Rebel T6i. Let's take off the body cap cover first of all and get our lens on there. So that's the 18 to 55. Find our little white mark. And see it. Oh, there it is. Okay. So that's it with the lens on. Now, um, of interest, you might want to note this is the smallest that this lens condenses to when it's zoomed in. So that's the smallest that lens is, which looking at that, I'm going to have to compare that for you with the D3300 with the 18 to 55, or I have the D5500 still here. So we'll have a look at that because it's probably more comparable in the sense that it has the very angle LCD, which I'm going to point out to you here. So we've got the very angle LCD, which can flip right around, face you that way. As a matter of fact, if we pop a battery into this, we should be able to show you that active. So there we go. And if we turn the camera on and flip it around, you should be able to see that the screen has a setup screen on it. So you just got to go in and set your date and time and everything else that you would normally set up there. Um, so this, this screen's really nice because you can shoot looking down at it like this. Um, you can shoot if you're doing a video or something and you, or a self portrait and you want to see what you're looking at that'll be you in the screen you can see how it's composed you can flip it right around and have it in open position facing out but like so it's closed to the body but the screen's viewing out and then obviously one of the, the big features of this is that you don't have on a non-movable screen for those people that think that these are easier to damage you can close it so it can't be damaged while it's being in travel or in your bag or whatnot so that's that's always handy too. It's a standard EOS uh, Rebel layout. I don't think I've had a Rebel T series in here since maybe the T3i. Um, I think the ISO button at the top might be new, um, but you got at the top here. You've got your mode dial, ISO button, display on off, movie switch. Um, on the back we have our standard looks like pretty much a standard setup from um, the, the Rebel lineup for the button display. Um, on the bottom is your standard tripod socket, mount your tripod, your battery door right there where we put our battery. And uh, the nice thing about these is, is as some small cameras will put the battery and the SD card in the same spot. So you open it up and it's beside it. These have the card 
in the side. I like to be able to access that. Biggest advantage to that is if you're on a tripod, you can get into it. You don't have to pull it off, take your tripod plate off. That's annoying. So um, obviously you have a pop-up flash here. Let's see here. Can we get, the, there we go. There's the flash popped up. And uh, fit and finish actually seems nicer than I remember from previous Rebels. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of my T3i. Um, the grip depth is a little better, I think, for where my hand sits into it. It feels nice and comfortable there. The tactile feel of the rubber on the body um, feels better than I recall. Uh, so that's really good. Uh, over here, you've got mic input and a headphone input with a cover there. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. We've got uh, HDMI and AV digital out right under there, right beside the mic input and the um, remote input there. Uh, that's pretty much the inputs on here. Um, this is NFC near field and it's also built in Wi-Fi. So that's really nice too. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is uh, doing some testing. We'll try and run this up against the D5500 from Nikon. We'll try and run this up against the D3300, just to give you an idea. Um, it's kind of almost in between for what's what it's comparable to. I'd probably closer to the 55, uh, although maybe the T6X is closer to the 55. In any case, we'll give you a quick rundown here of the specs for those of you that aren't aware of them. Here's the specs. It's a 24 megapixel sensor, so that's new to the um, the T series of the of the Rebel lineup because they were what 18 I think was the last one built in Wi-Fi uh, full HD movie now full HD they still don't get you up to 1080 60p on this it's only 1080 30p if uh, memory serves I can double check that hybrid CMOS AF3 so that's just a a variation on that really cool autofocus system that's in the 70D and that basically gives us really good live view follow focus smooth like a camcorder uh, the very angle touchscreen LCD that's another thing this is a touchscreen although I believe the T5i was touchscreen as well uh, so that's a 3 inch clear view 2 LCD approximately 1 million 40 dots uh, high speed continuous shooting up to 5 frames per second uh, new EOS scene analysis system helps you to capture great images in a wider range of situations by detecting near infrared light and flickering light sources that's new to me i'm gonna have to look into that and see what that's all about 19 point all cross type af system allows superb autofocus performance um, it sounds like it's pretty much the you know, latest iteration of what's been in the rebels and creative filters available as presets for photos and movies that's pretty cool and that's pretty much the sum of the canon T6i features and specs or whatnot, the important stuff anyways. Uh, as I said, we've got the 18 to 55 lens on here. Uh, it's quite a light body. Fit and finish, as I said, is quite nice. Really like the tactile feel of the of the rubbery grip material and um, quite light with the battery in. Um, I have fairly small hands. That's it right there with the 18 to 55. So fairly small body. I guess they're trying to keep them small in, you know, the, the micro four thirds, the mirrorless stuff. It's pretty popular right now and they're trying to make their DSLRs a little smaller rather than putting out a nice mirrorless camera which both Nikon and Canon should do in any case um, it seems very nice no complaints um, looking at it and in initial impressions we'll be running some some tests with it we'll be doing some video we'll do some photo shoots show you the photos from it and uh, if you have any questions leave them in the comments below we'll try and get them answered for you thanks for tuning in that's the Canon EOS Rebel T6i.